My name is Emery, your virtual assistant for Fiery Specialty Applications. In today's video, I would like to show you how to check the TCP IP printer port when using a control software, such as ATUS or PrintXP to communicate. This is part one of three videos. So let's get started. Some printers use control software that can receive a PRN output file from Digital Factory via TCP IP 127.0.0.1 using port 9100. This is called localhost. It means that the data is sent and received within the same computer. In some instances, sending to this TCP IP port might fail. There are three reasons why this could happen. In this video, we will show you how to check if a firewall or antivirus software is blocking communication. In part 2 of this series we will show you how to verify if the printer control software is configured to listen to the TCP IP 127.0.0.1. And finally, in part 3, how to check if there is a conflict with another program listening to the same port. This is how to set the TCP IP port in Digital Factory. Go to the queue menu. Manage queues. Choose the port TCP IP for the queue you wish to use. Set the IP address as 127.0.0.1 and the port to 9100. Close the dialog and you are ready to print. Sometimes it might happen that the RIP shows an error but it was working well before. In this case, it might be a good idea to reset the system. This means close the RIP. Close the printer control software. Switch off the printer and restart. Quite often this solves the problem and the print data is sent to the printer control software. Sometimes sending to TCP IP 127.0.0.1 will not work because Windows Defender is blocking the port. To solve this you have to do the following. Click on the Windows icon and type into the search dialog. Windows Defender. When the Windows Defender dialog opens, click on the left Advanced Settings. A new window opens on the left. Click on the Inbound Rules in the left column. Right mouse click on Inbound Rules. And select New Rule. Then, for Rule Type, choose Port and press Next. Select TCP IP. And in specific local ports, type 9100 and click Next. Select Allow the connection and click Next. In this window keep all ticked and press Next. And give the rule a name. Allow port 9100. And click Finish. The rule will show up on the top of the rules. This will generally fix any issues with Windows Defender. This procedure does not fix issues with third-party firewalls or antivirus software. For these cases, you will need to contact the company that provides the firewall or antivirus software and ask how to create exceptions. Thank you for watching. Please have a look at the videos on how to check TCP IP printer 127.0.0.1, part 2 and part 3.